This practice will let you operate and set the clocks. The airplane is on the ground and has power. The flight crew reports that the captain's clock does not operate. You must do an operational test of the clock. Locate the captain's clock. Part of the operational test requires you to show time and date from the AIMS UTCF and from the clock internal time base. Show the time from the AIMS UTCF on the clock. Now show the AIMS UTCF date on the clock. The display alternates between day, month, and year. Show the clock internal time base date. You pushed the time date control switch. This only shows the time from the AIMS UTCF. Select the MAN position. The display alternates between day, month, and year. In this topic, you selected between time and date from the AIMS UTCF and from the clock internal time base. Next, you will manually set the clock internal time and date. You installed a new clock. Now you will manually set the time and date. The time date control switch is in MAN. Set the clock internal time and then the date. For this lesson, set the hours first. Set the hour to 11, then set the minutes to 10. Set the minutes. Make the clock start to update the time. The set control switch makes the clock start to update the time. Now set the date. For this practice, set the day first. You must show the date on the upper LCD display before you can change it. Push the date set control switch. Continue. Set the day, then set the month. Set the month, then the year. Set the year. The date is now June 7, 2007. In the next topic, you will use the time and date 
from the Ames UTCF to set the clock internal time and date. Oh no. You just replaced a clock. Your watch stopped working. There is nobody around to give you the time. Now the only quick way you have to set the clock is by using the Ames UTCF. The clock has power. The time date control switch is in MAN. Use the Ames UTCF to update the clock internal time and date. Put the time from the Ames UTCF into the internal clock time base. The time date control switch shows the date from the Ames UTCF. Select the MAN position on the time date control switch. The clock updated its internal time base date and time from the Ames UTCF. In the next topic, you will operate the elapsed time function. As part of a clock operational check, you will verify the clock elapsed time function. The clock has power. Reset and hold the elapsed time. Use the elapsed time control switch. Select the reset position on the elapsed time control switch. The elapsed time control switch returns to HLD when you release it from the reset position. Elapsed time goes to zero and does not update. Now start the elapsed time. When a minute passes, the lower display will show zero hours and one minute. The maximum elapsed time is 99 hours and 59 minutes. In this topic, you operated the elapsed time function. In the next topic, you will operate the chronograph. Not again! The chronograph stopped working. You had to replace the clock. Now you must verify the chronograph function operation. The clock has power. Start the chronograph. Elapsed time goes away from the lower display and into the clock memory. The minutes show on the lower display. Now stop the chronograph. The chronograph time stops. Now reset the chronograph. The second hand goes to 60 and stops. The chronograph minutes go away from the lower display. The elapsed time returns to the lower display. In this practice, you operated and set the clock.